George. You want to take a run? Sure. That was awesome. Next time my dog gets loose, I'm doing that. This wasn't right. Wiener dogs were built to be low to the ground. Then again, being up high did have its advantages. had to admit, catching that thing was fun, even if it didn't taste very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. There were eight wiener dogs in all. George now had six. That meant he had to find two more dogs. Eight dogs was two more than six. Did a monkey carrying two wiener dogs just go by, Harold? I think it's quitting time, Lloyd. <laughs> One, two. Two dogs plus six made eight. George had them all. But he still had to get them back home before the show. George? <laughs> you guys brought my dogs to the theater for me? How kind. <laughs> Mr. Teckle was really impressed with how well you took care of his dogs. Yeah. He said when he comes to town next month, he wants you to look after his whole troop. All 36 of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no one understands. 
understood what George was trying to tell them. George needed to do more research. The traffic officer had a different signal for each command. Stop. Go. Stop. Turn this way. Stop. Turn that way. George had the signals. Now, he just needed to look the part. George was ready to put his skills to the test. He had the contractors stop and the movers go. Turn this way. Go that way. George needed the movers to go under the boards, but he didn't have a hand signal for that. Hey, George, nice signals. You've really got the lobby under control. help, the lobby traffic was all flowing smoothly. <gasps> but there was still one mission left to accomplish. Bunnies were not good at taking direction. Genevieve! <laughs> I've been looking all over for you! Oh. That's the last bunny! George, I think Hundley and I can take it from here. Uh, where is Hundley? for breakfast, nor had so much fun. Hey, 
Poor Hundley. The mirror seemed to confuse him. Now, where's my sweet Hundley? It was Hundley's favorite tenant, Mrs. Parker. Are you ready to escort me? Hundley <laughs> always escorted Mrs. Parker up a few stairs. <laughs> oh, are you stuck, dear? <laughs> well, don't worry. You can escort me some other time. If he had a ramp, Hundley could easily escort Mrs. Parker. Whew. Only one more box to go. Huh? Hundley couldn't believe it. George's ramp actually worked. George felt sad. Hundley was so upset. And he had to wear that cone. George couldn't imagine being stuck in a cone all day. Or could he? George could now experience the world through a cone-headed dachshund's eyes. It sure was hard to see. And hard to get comfortable. But he could show Hundley he knew how he felt. What on earth was George up to? George had a cone so he could be like Hundley? Hundley thought that was the nicest thing George had ever done for him.
That night, George decided to rhino-proof his room. Surely these critters would protect him. A tent would make him feel cozy and safe. No dream rhino could get past all that. George, are you okay? <laughs> that rhino again, huh? I think it's time we consult the experts. They'll know what to do about nightmares. Nightmares? No, we don't know what to do about those. <laughs> George thought scientists knew everything. There's actually a lot we don't know about sleep. But we do know that your brain stays active during sleep. Yes, your brain uses sleep time to repair and grow muscles and fight sickness. And it makes up stories. Some of them can be scary. It's time for my afternoon nap. Want to see what my brain looks like when I'm dreaming? He's dreaming now. Ah. Hey! <laughs> Stop eating my prize! <laughs> he has that nightmare a lot. He wins a big science prize, but it's made of butterscotch and the other scientists eat it. Huh? Oh my. <laughs> that was a doozy. I don't know how to stop nightmares, George. But when I wake up from one, I hug my pillow and take two deep breaths. <sighs> yes, just like that. It always makes me feel better. I like to draw my nightmares in a dream journal to remind myself how silly they are. You see? <laughs> you want to draw your dreams too? Okay, we'll try that tonight. <laughs> that rhino didn't look so scary now. Bedtime, George. <laughs> Is that the rhinoceros in your nightmare? You want to make him your pet? <laughs> well, good thing it's just a dream pet rhino. We don't have the space for a real one. <laughs> Nighty night, George. Everything okay, George? The rhino again, huh? You want me to sit with you? George was a little afraid, but he decided to do what Professor Pizza did. It worked. He did feel a little better. Okay, I'm right in my room if you need me.